Hey, what's up guys? My name is Avery and welcome to my channel. Today I got a short video for y'all where we're going to be making a window with OpenGL. We're also going to set up a FPS limiter so it can limit the frame rate to 60 seconds, 60 per second, and a little bit of input so you can make it to the windows full screen and closing the window and a few other small things just like a background color. So yeah, but if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like the video, uh, according to my stats, none of y'all are subscribed. <laughs> no, nah, some of y'all are, most of y'all are, thanks. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is just include the OpenGL libraries. And I'm going to have the links to these in the description on a simple way to install them on your computer, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So yeah, if you guys don't have these installed already, just go ahead and check out in the description how to install them. It's just that. And now we're going to go ahead and just set up some of the basic stuff that we're going to be needing. Uh, so it's going to be our main class. And in this main class, we're going to have a loop. It's going to be running the window. And we're going to have everything like that. So we'll just do bool running. And we'll set that to 1. So now it's while running. And then this is where we're going to have everything being updated. So we can call an update function. We can call an input function. We can call a draw function. So between everything, we're going to be updating the stuff's in the window. We're going to be checking for keyboard input. And then we'll be rendering what's in the buffer to the screen. So now the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and create our window. So let's go ahead and define some stuff up here. And along with that, let's define some of these functions just to have them. So, void input and draw. Now let's define the window. So, there's going to be glfw window, put an asterisk, we'll just call it window. We'll have GLF monitor and then monitor. And we have, we can go ahead and throw this up here because we're going to be using it in some of the other functions as well. And we're also going to have a Boolean for full screen. And that's just going to make it so we can toggle between full screen and whatnot. And we're also going to have a map of keyboard input so we can go and check not just what key is opened but what keys press and been released and I'll make another video later on on keyboard input so we can explain everything so for this video I'm just going to do some very basic stuff and show you the code but another video I can explain it all so we're actually going to want to make this key function so we can keep track of what's old and what's new so it's just going to be bool current in previous. And now we need to include some of this stuff, like the the map and whatnot. So include for stuff IO stream. So we're printing some data in case there's an error. And then include map. And we're eventually going to be using some time stuff to keep track of the FPS. So let's just add some of this. It's everything we need to include. And that should be everything that we need for that. So now let's go ahead. Now that we have the window and the monitor, we're going to go ahead and initialize it. And we can also define the size. We'll just define that up here, the size of the window, when it's not in full screen mode. So that 1280 and height, we can set that to 720. And now is here in the main main in the main function we'll initialize everything. So it's gonna be GLF window hint. We'll set GLF samples. And what this is gonna do basically is just it's like sort of like how well it renders the pixels. So that just makes it so it renders it the best way. 
and now we'll do GLF window hint GLF W we can set the windows resizable so that makes it so you can just change the window size and then let's have that as false right now and GLF W window hint or actually no now we need to check to see if it's initialized correctly so if not GL FW in it that's just we're just going to return like a negative one if it didn't in it right we can just do F print F and then we could do the error and fail to in it GL FW so that's just going to check if it needs error or not and then there was an error I'll print it out now we'll set the window so window equals GFW create window and in here we're gonna set the width the height and the title let's open GL window and then you can pull in some flags we'll set those to null and these ones as null as well and now we'll just check to make sure the window actually opened so we'll just do window if window equals null so if there's nothing there we can just do scd count failed to open window scd inline and we'll go ahead and terminate so let's do gfw terminate and that's actually going to need to be called at the end as well. So we can do glfw destroy window. Let's pass the window. And then we also do glfw terminate right here too. And now let's go ahead and make the set the window so gf make context current pass the window through there and now we'll define the monitor and glfw get primary monitor so that's just defining the monitor from the screen it's pulling it and setting it and now let's go ahead and set running to true right here so we can go up here and change that and we can set full screen to false. So now the window is going to be able to load in. It's going to loop through this while it's running. Now we're going to close it. So now we need to update some stuff, do some input and draw. So one input we're going to check is we click the escape button, it closes. Or if you click the little X at the top of the window, it can close as well. So let's go ahead and we can do that. And we're just going to do that in the input function. In the input function, we need to check for the key presses. So let's do GFW pull events. And that's just going to check that current state. And now we'll do if GLFW get key. We'll just do window GLFW key escape equals GLFW press. So that's just checking the escape key was pressed. Then we can just do running equals false. We can also do GFW set window should close. And we'll do window. We can tell it that the window should close. But yeah, it's basically just going to check the escape key was pressed, then it'll close it. And I believe, actually, the GLFW, the open GL window, closes automatically if you press this button. So now we can go ahead and we can set a background color. So just in our draw function, we can do GL clear color. And it's going to be red, green, and blue, then the alpha. So we can set it to blue. So red and green are zero. And blue is full and alpha is zero 
So that's just setting a clear color. So whenever it clears the screen, that's the color it's going to clear it with. So instead of actually having to draw a rectangle and just filling the rectangle up first and drawing that before we draw anything else, it'll just clear the screen with this color, so it'll make it the background color. And I'll just call it to clear it. So it'll just be GL color buffer um, buffer bit, I believe. And then if you were to actually draw something, you could do it right here. And then afterwards, you would swap the buffer. And pass in the window. That's just going it, to it, update it. So right here, it clears the screen with a window color, blue. You can draw something right here, which we will discuss in a further video. And then it'll basically just switch the buffer, the new one, the old one with the new one. So now that we've got that set up, let's make it so we can switch between full screen. And to switch between full screen, we'll just jump right back here into the input function. And let's make it so if you click the button F, it just toggles between it. So we just do if. Oh. Same as before. GLFW. Get key. Window. GLFW. Key underscore F equals GLW press and so I'll explain what this is for in a second but like I said we're gonna mainly talk about this in, a, in another video but TF and previous so basically it checks right here what keys are down but if we just have it to be press F, it might log it a few times, like because you're pressing it for more than a couple frames. So then it'll quickly switch back and forth. But if we're able to check which key was pressed and which key was pressed previously, we can make it so it only toggles between those two. But that'll be discussed a little further in another video. So now we can just do if it's not full screen, then we can set it to full screen. GFW set window monitor let's do window monitor that's the coordinates the width and the height and I believe you just put a tag in there or something and now if it is full screen let's toggle back GLW set window monitor window no, we don't need to give it the monitor to set full screen. And then heights and yeah. And now we'll just toggle the full screen. And now we also need to update this so we can just update which buttons were pressed previously. So you just do key map GLW key F dot previous equals gfw uh, get key window gfw key f so that just checks if it's been pressed and since it ends as the previous so you can always constantly check so now that we've got this stuff set up let's go ahead and set up the frame rate so that's what that chrono was for and that's what some of this time stuff's for so we'll do double last time and we set that to zero and then while we're in here or let me think we can do it. yeah while we're in the loop we're just going to go ahead and just do it right here we can do double time get time it gets the turn to current time, then you can check it against the last time with delta time. It'll just be time minus last time. So it just checks the difference between the last loop. And if it is greater, then let's say delta time is greater than, we'll set it to 60 seconds, 60 FPS, sorry. Then we're going to want to lag it. So it'll just 
we'll set it to last time equals time so we can update that we can call render we'll move oh not render we'll call the draw function here actually so I'll remove the other one and yeah so let's go ahead and remove that and in the draw function or the yeah the draw function I think that's fine so that's just going to make it so it's only running 60 times every second and let's just quickly check over to see if I've missed anything so it starts the window it can close the window it does update input draw um, toggle with the F button for full screen it draws a bl blue screen a blue a blue background and that's basically what you should need remember check in the description for how to install this right here and we can go ahead and build it so let's just make sure it works um, using the G++ compiler you just have the window and you just use uh, these two libraries which are going to be in the description for how to install so let's just go ahead and build there's a few errors so let's check these out so let's quickly jump down here that's missing that and as well also just to mention the update we didn't actually use that for anything but if you were to make an application or a game or whatnot this is where you would update what should be changing on the screen and everything like that okay one thing is right here the key I misspelled that that's on line 34 maybe you guys noticed just just be like that oh I know I did I think missing the semicolons messing it up all right so let's go ahead and check that out there it is there's our window it's readjustable change like that the clear color for the background color is set to blue click the escape button it closes and if you already click F it'll set it in the full screen um, there's a slight chance that my screen record is not having it as full screen right now but it is full screen so that could be changing it for you guys as well so I'll go ahead and close it so yeah that's it for this video I'll if anyone's interested I can post this code somewhere for y'all to check it out um, like I mentioned before there's gonna be some links in the description if you have any questions leave it in the comments below I'm gonna be coming out with a lot more videos soon with some more OpenGL tutorials we're gonna be talking about inputs audio devices and sound loading images drawing to the screen and all the basic stuff you need to use to make a game we're gonna be I'm gonna be making a few more tutorials using SDL2 to do the same thing just all the basic stuff along with the SFML library so I'm just gonna be making a bunch of videos with all of those on just how to use them so go ahead if you guys are new go ahead and subscribe to the channel click the bell to get notified for my next video and yeah go ahead and like the video if you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much and See you guys next time.